goodness of Jesus, amen. He had that whole church in the uproar. I'm talking about kids and everybody just praising and worshiping God. You see, that's the difference when you got God really working in your life. Can I get a witness? I'm not talking about this clay thing, Mama B, that some folks is fooling around with, amen. Because see, the one thing about it is the Holy Ghost and the Spirit of God is not dumb by any means. It's intelligent. Can I get a witness? And it know when you real and when you ain't. Yes, yes. See, if you real, you ain't got to worry about hurting yourself if you shout shouting and the, world, and, and the Spirit of God is on you. You ain't going to get hurt. Amen. Amen. If the Lord hit mama back there one day, she get to miss her prayer and she get to shout and then God, she ain't going to hurt herself. The Holy Spirit going to sustain her. He going to keep her. He going to protect her. Can I get a witness? Yes. See, that's when your worship is real. It's for real. Amen. Somebody bless his name. But we bless God today, amen, and how we magnify his holy name today. Because truly and for certain, God is good today. <coughs> his mercies are everlasting, and his truth endures, and it shall endure to all generations. I'm yes. seeing this. this right. Did the channel did it clean this up? Yes. All right. I'm God. Because I, I, I came in and he was like, oh, nice and bright. Okay. All right. oh, yeah. They look so beautiful. Yes. Amen. Amen. Give God a hand. Amen. Make his deeds. Make you know him among the people. They look beautiful. Amen. Amen. Praise God for that. Amen. Total difference. Amen. Amen. But we thank God today Amen. for Amen. all of his loving kindness and tender mercies towards us. And certainly, Amen. Can't nobody do us like. Jesus, amen. Hallelujah, hallelujah. Can't nobody do us like mm -hmm. the Lord, amen. Can't nobody, amen, do us like Jesus today. And that truly identifies the fact, and as that salutation says, he is our friend, amen. Yes, hallelujah, hallelujah. One that stick is closer than a brother, amen. And we'll be with you. I like this part. And we'll be with you, Aura, to the end. Hallelujah. Listen, he ain't going nowhere. Yeah. Hallelujah. He's going to stay right there by you. Amen. Yeah. He ain't going to give up on you. Mm -hmm. So how dare we give up on him. Amen. Yeah. Amen. He is a wonder in our lives today. And we just bless God. Amen. For allowing us all to wake up another beautiful Lord's day. To see his beautiful day. Beautiful yeah. day outside. Yeah. Amen. Another day that he's given us all life, health, mm -hmm. and strength. Yeah. And he gave us a good mind because we in his house. Amen. amen. Not a place we can be, but we're in the house of the Lord. Amen. amen. We're in the house of God. We're in the place of praise. We're in the tabernacle of thanksgiving. Amen. We're in God's house. Amen. amen. And where else should we be? Amen. amen. But to come and give his name glory, honor, and praise, Hallelujah. which is all do him. The Bible tells us that men ought to always pray. pray. Yes, yes. Men ought to always pray. And by saying men ought to always pray, that means that if he always should pray, then there's not a time that he should not be praying. Amen. He says that men ought to always pray, and then the, the, the other portion, the B portion of that clause says, and not pray. Faint. Yeah. In other words, simple, 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 simple perspective. If he praying, he ain't kind of faint. Amen. If he fainting, he ain't praying. Yeah. Amen, somebody. Yeah. Amen. If he's praying, he ain't faint. Mm. But if he's fainting, he's sure enough not praying. Amen. Yeah. Yeah. And, and I tell you, uh, 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 we need the Lord. Amen. Yeah. We need the Lord. Amen. In every aspect of our lives, mm -hmm. we need God. Amen. Yes, yes. And, and, and for that, knowing that he is a loving and a merciful and caring Savior. Amen. Moreover, um, he is the one and he is the only one that we ought to cast our cares upon. Amen. amen. Word tells us to cast our cares upon him. For he careth for us. Yeah, Amen. Yeah. And in that, he cares for us, knowing that he is so always mindful of us. Amen. He's always mindful of us. He 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 sees to us. Amen. Amen. He sees to our needs. Amen. How many are wanting for anything today? Amen. Amen. I'm not talking about, you know, stuff that we just want, but I'm talking about 
really wanting for something, then he, that's how wonderful of a God that he is. Can I get a witness? He, so he promised us that he would supply all our needs. Can I get a witness? Somebody, amen. He said, I will supply all your needs according to my loving kindness and according to my tender mercies. Amen. That's the goodness of God today. Amen. That's the goodness of the God whom we serve today. Amen. And so as we come, amen, as we make our way toward the altar, amen, um, come with one mind, one heart, one spirit, knowing that, amen, whatever we need, God has it. Amen. Whatever our need is, God has it. And beyond that, not only does he have it, but whatever our need may be, he will give it to us. How so, Bishop? Very simply. He said, ask what you will, and it shall be done unto you. Amen. He, he didn't say that. He didn't say that in a, in a figurative sense. He said it in a literal sense. He said, ask what you will, and it shall be done. Bless his name. We have not. Because we ask not. Amen. We don't believe in the daily what he said. Amen. He said anything. Somebody say anything. He said anything you ask in my name. He said what? I will do it. Can I get a witness? Now we don't have it. Why? Because either we didn't ask or we don't believe it. Amen. One of the two. But he said if you ask anything in my name I will do it. Amen. Amen. And so to not trust him, to not to not test him, but to just put him at his word, because he's not a God that he should lie. Can I get a witness? Amen. He can't lie. Amen. And every promise he even gave us and told us is true. Amen. And so it makes it a whole lot simpler if we just but trust Amen. him and take him truly at his word. Amen. Bless his name and see how God will perform. Amen. Amen. Form. And I like to still use the word miracles, amen, because God still works and does miracles, amen. It's a miracle that we wake up in the morning. I don't care how you look at it, amen. That's a miracle, bless his name. It's a miracle we wake up still in our right mind. We could have went to sleep and lost all faculty. Somebody talked that to me. But his goodness and his mercy, hallelujah, follows us, David said, every day, all the days of our lives, amen. We're a miracle, walking. Amen. We're a miracle talking. Amen. And we're showing up a miracle with him on the inside in our hearts. Amen. Amen. Loving him, desiring to serve him, and to lift his name and to let the world know that we serve a loving God. Amen. We want to continue to pray, amen, for one another. Amen. We want to continue to pray for one another. We want to continue to pray for our church. Amen. We want to continue to pray. Amen. For our ministry, as Mama said. Amen. So um, eloquently said. Amen. And righteously said. Amen. We. Amen. We are the people of God. And we are the, 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 the body that make up the, the believers. Amen. In this vineyard. Amen. And if we're not loving one another. We ain't going to never be able to get nobody else to come in here and hang with us. Amen. Just ain't going to happen. And I love that you said that this morning, Mama. Because it's the truth. It's just, it's just and, and a lot of times, it's sometimes, you know, the, the plain truth is just what we need. Amen. And, and um, because sometimes we'll live in a shallow sanity. That suggests that we just, you know, we're doing what we're doing, I guess, but a, what a, what a maybe uh, a hope that something changes. No, that's insanity. Amen. If you don't make it change, talk back to me, somebody. If you don't make it change, if you don't do something toward the change, amen. Bless his name. But we serve, we serve an able God today, amen. And I, I truly believe, amen. I truly believe. I more than trust, but I believe, amen, that definitely God has his hands on us, amen. And what he said he can do, will do, he's going to do, amen. But we have to trust him, amen. We have to work, we have to work toward, amen, the fact of the faith that he's placed in our hearts, amen. Knowing that he will do just what he said he would, amen. So you want to pray, we want to continue to pray one for another, pray for our church, pray for our ministry that God, amen, will lead, guide, and direct us the path that he would have us go, amen, amen. the way that he would have us go, amen, lifting up all of
came in. Doctor told him four to five years. He he on seven already. Amen. Uh, with a new heart. That's that's God. Amen. Somebody. Amen. Amen. That's God. Amen. Amen. And so we are lifting him up in prayer. Amen. All of my uh, covenant brethren. Amen. That uh, I share. Amen. And, and um, um, in, um, in our works. Amen. To the ministry together. Amen. That God would use each and every one of them in their particular ministries. And that he would use them. Amen. To how he sees fit. Not how they want. But how he sees fit. Amen. And that he get glory out of their lives. Pray for us. The vision. Pray for us. The daughter family. Pray for us. That God would continue to keep us. He would continue to strengthen us. Amen. Moreover, that he will always and continually be found doing his will. Amen. I was just telling my brother the other day, I said, I was talking to a fellow brother, and I told him, and he said, man, I commend you, darling. I said, what's up? He said, man, I continue. I'm, uh, he said, don't you get up at four every, every every Sunday? I said, yeah. He said, man, bless your heart, boy, that's faithfulness, man. I said, well, man, it's, you know, and I love God. That's a simple fact. I love God, amen. And I love his people. I love the work, his work, and he's called me to, amen. And it's real simple. Anything you love, you're going to do the best thing. You're going to work the best way you can for it. Amen. You're going to be dutiful to it. Can I get a witness? Amen. And you're going to make it happen. Amen. So we want to ask them to continue to pray for us that uh, as a family that God will continue to strengthen us, use us. Everyone on our prayer list, those that are on our prayer list that God would, amen, undertake on their behalf. We don't have to know, but he already knows. Amen. 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 That God would undertake on their behalf. If there be, amen, any requests, you can just speak them out. Any name that you want to be lay on the altar, you speak it out. Amen. They don't have to know you put them on the altar. Amen. That's the best time to put them on there when they don't know. Amen. amen. If the devil got them out there acting a fool, yeah, they need to be brought. Amen. They need to be, need to be lifted before God. Amen. Because he's the only one that's going to change them. Amen. We can't. Police can't. Trouble can't. Nobody else but God. Amen. amen. Is going to change it. Amen. Lift that name in that <clears throat> in the atmosphere. God is able today. How many believe he's able today? Amen. Hallelujah. Bless his name. God is an able God today. Amen. Amen. So as we go to the Lord in prayer. Amen. Amen. Casting all of our cares upon him because he careth. For us. Father God, this morning we come, Lord, we come this morning, <clears throat> this morning to you as empty pitchers before a full fountain, asking, requesting, desiring to be filled, to be filled with your love, to be filled with your mercy, to be filled with your grace, to be filled with your love. To be filled with your joy yes. that surpasses all understanding. Yes. Yes. To be filled with your meekness. Mm -hmm. To be filled with your patience. Yes. Yes. To be filled with your spirit. Yes. Yes. Father God, how we stand in need of prayer this morning. Lord, ask the church. Us. Once we learn better, we do better. Amen. Somebody. 
Amen. And if we want the true blessings of God, <clears throat> we want the true blessings of God in and on our lives. It's just that. No better, do better. Amen. 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 God bless your hearts today. Father God, we love you. We thank you. We give you name, glory, honor, and praise. How we are God. Love you with our whole, whole hearts. That you're marvelous, you're wonderful. Love towards us. Your loving kindness and your tender mercies. We come now, God, the hour speaking on behalf of you. Going into your word, oh God, and sharing words of life, sharing words of wisdom, sharing words of changing the heart and mind, life of one that would need it the most. Lord, we come needing your spirit, we come needing your anointing, we come most of all needing your power. Yeah. We pray, oh God, that you would speak now, your servant here and hide us beneath the cross, let your blood flow and leaf flow. That we stand not in ourselves, but that we stand totally firm and complete in thee. Yeah. I do know, as thy word teaches us, that I can do all things through you who strengtheneth me. So I pray now that you move Fred and move Darby and bring the preacher. Bring your servant now, God, that I might be used of thee. Think with my mind. Lord, please, please be, 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 be willful to think with my mind, to speak with my mouth, and my, articulate with my tongue, but most of all, feel with my heart that I might be sensitive to what you want and have to say. As I supply the mechanics, I pray now you send the dynamics. Yeah. Live, move, breathe. Mm, even now upon this written, even yet now living, but totally now at this moment, spoken word. And we will be thankful and forever thankful to continue to give your name all praise, glory. It's thine. It's in your precious sweet perfect name we pray. Every heart said amen. Amen. And amen. Amen. God bless you today. Amen. God bless you. <clears throat> God bless you, brother. Let's let them know we thank God for them. Amen. 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 Thank God for, for them. Amen. They do add to the service. Amen. Meet me in the book of Romans. <clears throat> in the book of Romans, uh, we want to place our attentions on Romans chapter 5. We want to pull up, beginning at verse number. Let's let's go on up to one. It's just a couple of verses. <clears throat> Romans chapter five, beginning at verse number one. Acts chapter five, beginning at verse number one. Amen. We're going to read. I'm going to read down to about verse number eight. You have it. Say amen. 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 The Bible records these words. It says, therefore being justified, by faith, we have peace with God through our Lord Jesus Christ, by whom also we have access by faith into his grace wherein we stand and rejoice in hope 
of the glory of God. And not only so, but we glory, hear the word today, in tribulations also, knowing that tribulation worketh patience. Say patience. Patience. And patience, experience. Say experience. experience. And experience, hope. Say hope. hope. And hope maketh not ashamed because the love of God is shed abroad in our hearts by the Holy Ghost, which is given unto us. For when we were yet without strength, in due time Christ died for the ungodly. For scarcely for a righteous man will one die, yet preadventure for a good man some would even dare to die. Verse 8 concluding, but God commended, commandeth his love towards us in that while we were yet sinners, Christ died for us. God bless you today. God bless you. Amen. God bless you for your respect. Amen. To the word and your respect to the author and the reading of the word. I believe this to be the word of God. Amen. I believe it today and I believe it in this fashion. I embrace the words of scripture where the gospel writer records <clears throat> before one jot or one tittle of this word shall pass away heaven and earth shall pass away. Yeah. But the word, somebody say the word. The word. The word of our God shall stand forever. Hallelujah. And I believe that to be so mm -hmm. this day. Yeah. And I believe that to be so every day. Hallelujah. And if you believe that to be so as well, give God a hand clap of praise. And say, I believe. I believe. I believe. Mm -hmm. The interest of prayers for a few minutes. Uh, for a few minutes. Amen. Um, for a few minutes, we want to consider this passage of scripture here in uh, Romans. <clears throat> we want to consider these eight passages of um, different, these eight verses, moreover, of scripture. And we want to um, suggest this, this thought to be tagged along with it. I'm so glad. I'm so glad that God saved me. I'm so glad. I'm so glad. I said it twice on purpose. That God saved me. I believe that that's something every last one of us should be saying. I'm so glad. <laughs> yes, I'm so glad that God saved me. Yeah. I mean, just look at it for a minute in your own personal life that to say I'm so glad that God saved me. Because if you say that, then you got to reflect on what he saved you from. Can I get a witness anybody? I mean, now, you know, to save us means that uh, uh, he did something, first of all, that we could not do. Can I get a witness? Because yeah. we could not save 
ourselves. Yeah. If we could have saved ourselves, we would have never committed no sin at all yeah. in our lives. Can I get a witness? You know, unless we just, you know, just had a true reprobate mind from the jump, amen, and wasn't caring at all about what we was doing, amen? amen. But to say I'm so glad that God saved me, bless his name, uh, it suggests, amen, uh, a, a, a perspective of mind, heart, and spirit, amen, to, to be able to truly reflect on, because you cannot say that make that term, you can't use those words collectively in that manner, I'm so glad that God saved me, without thinking, considering, reflecting on what he saved you from. And if we were to sit down and take a real good, a real good look at what he saved us from, we'd be more than talking about, I'm so glad, we'd be jumping on the rooftop. Can I get a witness? For some of us, because I mean, for some of us, it, it really took God to do some extra work because we were something else, man. Right some of us was way out there. But there's something who said, I was sinking deep in sin, far from the peace for sure, very deeply stained within. I was, yes, showing up, sinking to rise no more. Hold up. Somebody ought to say thank God for the blood. But the master of the sea, he heard by this very cry, and from the waters, yeah. he, yeah. he lifted me. Yeah. Hallelujah, somebody. Yeah. Now say, am I? Am I? I heard an older preacher say one time in the church, he made the comfort, he made the perspective to that point of view of scripture and that song. And he said, well, I guess I ain't going to say it no more or louder because uh, uh, if you really were saved by him and you were sinking, amen, it won't matter how many times I, I can say it one time whispering. If you know that he didn't save you, you be sharing, you be testifying, you be jumping on your feet all for yourself if he truly saved you. So maybe I'm talking to a church full of sinful folk. Amen, amen. Well, the truth of the matter, what he said was so. Every time we get up, we're talking to a, a church full of sinful folk. Amen, somebody. See, see, but see, here we go. Now, that person that God really need to work on, who he think he is calling me, calling us sinful? Romans, come help him. Romans, come help him. For all have sinned.
a chance. Give us another chance. Lord, Father, don't give them what they deserve. Father, Father, he, he was our advocate. He was our lawyer. He was going before us. He was pleading our case. Look at sinful, stupid, foolish us. We still sin. We still sin. We still sin. We still cut the rug. We still do what we want to do. But wait a minute. By His grace, we are saved today. And I, I, I love, I love, I love what Mama was saying. And I so piggyback on her. Amen. Because you know what? Amen. This passage of scripture, especially verse 8. Amen. Man, that's just, that's just too much. That's just too much. That's just really too much. We ought to have way more gratitude than it seems like sometimes we have. God, but God commended his love towards us in that while we were yet sinners, he died for us. He literally gave us an opportunity before an opportunity was even gained. Yes, yes. That was his love. I'm so glad I'm saved. Hallelujah. I thank God yes. that I'm saved. Mm. I thank God that He loved me yes. so. Mm. I thank God that He cared enough mm. about me yes. to see a word in me. Yes. Yes. I was wretched. Mm -hmm. I said I was wretched. Yeah. You were too. I was wretched and undone. Yeah. I love the way the old South folks used to say, I was wretched and undone. I was too mean to live. It wasn't fit enough to, to die. But God yeah. and his mercy. Hallelujah. Yeah. But God yeah. and his mercy. Yeah. Hallelujah. But God yeah. and his mercy. Yeah. Hallelujah. But God and his mercy. Glory to his name. Until he first delivered you mm -hmm. 
from that. Yeah. Are you with me? Yeah. That means to say, you know, the stuff that you're doing that, you know, God ain't pleased with, or let's say wasn't pleased with, amen. The stuff that you was, amen, you know, willfully doing, wanted to do, and you liked it. It felt good, amen. You couldn't wait till the weekend came, and you was getting it all together to go do it, amen, somebody. Hallelujah, you was getting ready, and you getting spending money, you need to be keeping for your saving on your bills. Somebody talk back to me, you getting ready though, I said you getting ready, you getting ready to go do it, you getting ready to go have fun, you getting ready to go, you know, go, 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 go do what it is that, you know, brings you pleasure, joy, and happiness, and, you know, all those things that, you know, that were not of God. Bless his name. But here you go. He had a plan for your life. Say he had a plan for my life. Here God had a plan for your life. Yeah, God had a plan for your life. God had a plan for your life. He didn't have an idea to leave you out there doing what you were doing. He wasn't trying to leave you out there being prayed for the wolf, for Satan to come and succumb you. Why? He had a plan for your life. And he protected you. He kept you. How much so? You didn't yourself, that's the biggest lie Satan could have put in your head. You was not kept, and you were not keeping yourself. You were kept by one means, by the grace. Oh, God. Oh, God. Oh, God. And you were kept because you had a plan Amen. for your life. Yes. Let me back out of this and let you go. For one man, for one man, scarcely, mm -hmm. that means barely, yeah. but skin of your teeth, mm -hmm. for a righteous man, will one die, pre-adventure, for a good man. Some would even dare to die. That's in conjunction with what the Father's love did, John 3.16, for God. Mm -hmm. Are you with me? Yeah. So love the world. Yeah. That's his love. That's a condition. Are you with me? Yeah. So love the world that he gave. Mm -hmm. His only begotten son that what? Whosoever yeah. believeth on him. Should not perish, yes, yes. but shall have mm. everlasting life. Yes, yes. And I love that he included verse 17 with verse 16 because it said, For God did not come to condemn the world, mm. but that the world through him might be saved. For scarcely, for a righteous man, will one die. Yet preadventure for a good man, some would even dare to die. Here's the good thing about it, and this is what we ought to be shouting on today, but God. Hallelujah. We ought to be shouting on this one simple point of view, but God. this morning. Uh, God bless you and may he forever keep you is my prayer. Thank you for listening to my little discussion. Uh, hallelujah. Thank you hallelujah for listening to my little amen sermonic interlude uh, to you to suggest uh, thank God I'm saved. Hallelujah. But I just want to leave you in this perspective by telling you uh, you sure enough ought to be thanking God uh, for truly saving you. <laughs> Hallelujah. You ought to be thanking God uh, for truly saving you. <laughs> Why so, Bishop? Uh, Sip 
simply because if it were not for the grace of God, can I get a witness anybody? We know where we would be today. If it were not for the grace of God, we know, we know, we know where we would be. Hallelujah. If not for his grace and his mercy, where we would be today. Good God Almighty, if not for hallelujah, his grace and his mercies towards us, I would shudder the thought of where I would be. I would be, I would be six feet under, stiff as a board, forgotten and for his grace look at God devising a plan for our lives and here we are today saved here we are today saved here we are today saved good God almighty by his power divine I'm saved how are you saved by Do I have anybody today? And my joy is, my joy is complete, for I'm saved. Yeah, yeah, yes I am. I'm saved. I'm saved. I don't do what I used to do. I'm saved. I don't talk like I used to talk. Aren't you glad 
that he made you whiter than snow. Hallelujah. Aren't you glad that he washed you? Aren't you glad that he cleansed you? Aren't you glad that he washed you? He washed you. He washed us. Why? Whiter than snow. Hallelujah. Thank God. Thank God. Thank God. Thank God I'm saved today. Thank God we're saved today. It was by his grace. Can I get a witness? It was by his grace. We didn't save ourselves. It was by his grace. By his grace that we are saved today. What can wash away my sins? Nothing but the blood of Jesus. Lord, we love you. We bless your name today. We give your name glory, honor, and praise. We truly know what it was that washed us. We truly know what it was that cleansed us. Lord, we truly know what made us whiter than snow. Thank you, Lord, for saving us. Thank you, Father God, for giving us a way out. Thank you for giving us an alternate plan. Thank you for giving us and devising a foolproof plan that would remedy yes. us from death, hell, and destruction. Yes. Thank you because it's even yet free to all. Yes. Yes. It's a healing stream. Yes. Your word tells us it flows from Calvary's. Yes. Calvary's yes. mountain. Yes. Thank God. For, thank you for saving us, God. Yes. Thank you for washing us. Thank you for cleansing us. And thank you for living within us. We pray now, God, today that you give us a, a new, a fresh determination. Lord, give us even a new and a stronger zest and uh, a, a, another, another zest and a, 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 another stronger desire to love, serve, and live for thee. Continue as David admonished and asked you to do for him on more than one occasion. He messed up more than one time. We mess up more than one time. Amen. And so we pray, Lord, that you would create in us a clean heart yes. and renew the right spirit. Yes. The right spirit yes. within us. We love you today with our whole hearts. Yes. Allow your word to prick our hearts. Allow your word to fall on good ground that it might germinate and grow as a tender and healthy plant that we may be the servants that we would be the people of you that we will be the blood bought the blood washed and the living for you people that you would call us to be we love you we thank you it's in your name we pray and ask it all. Every heart say amen. amen. Come on, say amen again. Amen. 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 See the girl family is now love offering time. Could you please bring your love offering forward, please? Thank God I'm saved today. What can wash away my sins? Nothing 
about the blood. Of Jesus. What can make me whole again? Nothing but the blood. Okay.